All right, how to instantly improve your depression. I'm gonna read out this testimonial here. I was feeling depressed today, under carbs, and being too lazy to cook anything, I decided to try your lemon sugar water recipe. Now I have mental clarity like never before, and I feel like a new person. Just after one liter, sugar is life. I'm new to this lifestyle. If you want to read many other testimonials like this, go to my Instagram page and read my testimonials highlights. So highlights that is that that's on the Instagram, those little yellow, those little round things. Yeah, so if you go to my profile and uh, under the profile picture, you'll see the reel. I've got testimonials, I've got Q&As, oh, yeah. meals that I eat, snacks, fruit, the works. It's, it's easy. It's never been easy. To get this inf right. never been easier to get the inf right information now. This life-changing information is accessible right at your fingertips. So what, what we're talking about for about your lemon sugar water secret, what's that? Yeah, so... Uh, what's the recipe? So many people have been onto my lemon sugar water recipe recently. And you can make it how you want, but my base recipe is half a fresh lemon squeezed into 700 mils of fresh water and then I free pour sugar into it and shake it up until it dissolves and it's a super sweet and satisfying drink. How much sugar would you say? How much? I oh guess yes, 700 mils. Why do, why do you use 700 mils? Because that's how big my Camelback bottle is. <laughs> okay, there you but, go. But uh, I, I would recommend getting a big bottle. I've got a one and a half litre bottle. Um, I use the Camelback on the bike. Yeah. Because it fits in the bottle holder. Yeah. And I take a lemon sugar water and a plain water to keep my mouth fresh. Yeah. Now, if you are experiencing depression, anxiety, or you're feeling stressed, I can guarantee that you are under carbs, dehydrated, and most likely underslept mm. as well. So you have to get your sugar, water, and sleep in check. You know, you have to give yourself a chance. Don't make yourself suffer. And the thing is, the answer is so simple. And people, when I tell them this, they're like, what? Like, no, like... I'm I've seen going, a psychiatrist, you know. No, I'm going to my psychiatrist. I'm going to my psychologist. I've just started this new antidepressant. I recommend... It's making me gain 10 kilos. Yeah. Obviously, the SSRIs come with a whole range of side effects and a lot of people aren't even aware of this no so i recommend starting with 300 grams of sugar daily you can put it in water and drink it throughout the day or you can add it to your smoothies and your juices and your water with cereal with some lemon or with cereal so measure out 300 grams and consume that every day with your fruits and your water your cereal your oats and watch the anxiety just dissolve watch away the improvement you know as this person said and as many others have been telling me the past week how much they are improving their mental clarity following this simple guideline it is an absolute game changer and i know that if i'm feeling blue and if i'm feeling down say it's cold and it's gray not today i know that i haven't eaten enough sugar and people say sugar but sugar is poison Every cell in the human body runs on sugar. Humans are sweet feeding animals, and that is a fact. Sweet tooth. You go to the hospital and they put you on a glucose strip mm. to keep you alive. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so common, isn't it? There's a form we, we're on, uh, is it Whole Foods plant-based Aussies? <sighs> yes, so there's a lot of... Uh, What's... There, there's a lot of orthorexic... Dr. Gregor uh, fans. Facebook, Dr. Gregor fan Facebook groups. And you know, it's good that they've got the plant based groups. Yeah. But um, it's just it's wrong information. In the wrong though. direction. Mm. And I see people struggling in those groups every day. They say, I'm not losing the weight. I'm hungry. I'm depressed. I'm feeling depressed. I've got anxiety. I'm so sad. I'm stressed. I've got no energy. And they're telling people to eat Brussels sprouts for breakfast. <laughs> Is that Chef AJ or something? What's her thing looking yeah, like? Yeah, so, uh, so Chef AJ recommends VFB, vegetables for breakfast, if you're struggling with food addiction and emotional eating. Uh, okay. so what, what does that look like? What's, the, what's that look like? What, what's it, VFB? Vegetables for breakfast. So <laughs> it's simply Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. Oh, Nothing well. else. You're so hungry later on afterwards, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, well... <sighs> So yeah, so she reckons that even oats are bad, carbohydrates are bad. Yeah, so she says that uh, it's bad to have oats and fruit with a bit of sugar for breakfast because it's just sugar and flour and it fuels eating addictions. 
Imagine how hungry you're gonna be eating Brussels sprouts for breakfast. Imagine, you know, imagine you're gonna be so ravenous. Then when you binge out later in the day, you just blame yourself versus just having that post-starvation hyperphagia. Know, if you do VFB and you're gonna be hitting the caffeine, hitting the coffee, the matcha, just for that uh, yeah. energy lift, which is fake energy. It's true, and she's on Chef AJ's high in thyroid medication anyway. She so is. She, she, she looks like she's ready to crack any, any minute. She does take get snappy thyroxine. Mm. Um, she, she, she told us herself. Which would have happened because she starved herself so much in the past. Yep, that's So many right. women are on thyroxine because they've starved themselves and she, abused caffeine. She has had an eating disorder for a very long time. She used to be anorexic. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's like that mentality just doesn't go away. How old is she? She's like 50 or 60 uh, or so? She is 60. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's amazing how that you have that from your teens all the way to the end of your life almost. <sighs> yeah. It's crazy. But it's a good thing you're out here representing. So, giving women a good option. You know, I know so many people are struggling with their mental health and the industries push these fads and these diets that make your depression, anxiety and stress worse. Yeah, damn right. Listen damn to right. us and get on the high carb, low fat, vegan lifestyle and get your sugar in. Testimonials straight away. Yeah. And then, so just one more thing. Anything. You know, fruit is fantastic. Fruit is amazing. But fruit isn't sweet enough. It's picked a green. In this day and age, and it's not going to make the cut because back in the day, the fruit is tree ripened and it's just oozing sugar. When fruit is properly ripe, you don't need to add sugar to it because it's just so satisfying. Yeah. And it hits the spot. Yeah, your taste buds aside. Yeah. So obviously we've got a we've got topsoil erosion. Fruit is picked green, and there's a lot of chemical use. So fruit is not what it used to be. You have to supplement it. You can't track calories by inputting your fruit intake online, for example, because it's just so inaccurate. Yeah, the, the fluctuates very, very, very much in terms of sugar content. That's right. And, you know, you eat it, you're like, oh, I'm eating all this fruit. I'm but still so hungry. I'm feeling depressed and I'm hungry. It's like there's no sugar content in it. So you need the simple sugars yeah. for your brain. You know, the fact is, your brain is a very fussy organ. It relies on sugar mm. for fuel. Yeah, people say, oh, you're, you're 22 though, what would you know? You, you'd never been obese. The fact that you're still slim at 22 just proves that this, this thing works and you don't abuse stims and you don't starve yourself. That's right. I have never abused stimulants. I have never done a diet. I've never restricted my calories. I've never done a cut. You I just, maintain sustainable You just kept fat, fat calories down. That's right. The only thing I've kept down in my life is my fat intake. Because your grandma and, sort of gave you a heads yeah, up. Yeah, so, so that, that was taught to me as a child. Because you're a ballerina. I, I was always fed toast and pasta, fruit, juice, soft drinks. My diet growing up was very high carb and mm. low fat. And uh, obviously no pill, no medications. So my metabolism is very high from what I have done in the past and from what I can maintain. Yeah, just to be totally transparent, you, you did take the pill for, was it four weeks or something you said? Oh uh, yes, yeah. so I, I took the pill for four weeks of my life and- uh, Which doesn't really count, but anyway, we'll keep and, going. And uh, I took it and I could notice the brain fog. I'm like, oh. Can't okay. set the pill, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling like myself. Mm. I'm not feeling that mental sharpness and clarity. And I don't like the idea of having a fake period. I don't like the idea of taking my body, steroids. Of taking sex steroids and my body thinking it's pregnant yeah. all the time. That is so unnatural. Yeah. So I had the box there. I, I was pressured to take it by the doctor and family. You know, the doctor was standing over me in the office. <laughs> Crazy. And like, What's wrong with the pill? Why wouldn't you take it? Well, like, well, she's standing set. up. Dead set. She standing was standing up. up because, oh my God. because I was arguing with her. Standover tactics. With my grandma there in the office. Did you want to take breast cancer causing pills? Yeah. But obviously, doctor's orders, doctor's right. So. The ego, though. So it was bought anyway, and then it just sat in the bathroom cupboard and then eventually got disposed of. Yeah, wow, well, crazy. So, uh, Good on you. So that's it, girls. And get out there, just follow Natasha. She's a breath of fresh air, transparent. Maybe. And uh, yeah, physique doesn't lie, no starving, Maybe. eating. Like, it's the most important thing. You have to get the sugar and water yeah. in. People come to a vegan lifestyle. You know, I've had a lot of girls who tell me, I'm, I've, I've tried out the vegan thing for a month now, but I'm just craving so much sugar, like it's a bad thing. Oh, no, your body is telling you what it needs, okay? Stop listening to the magazines and the liars and- Listen to the sugar baby. What I do and listen to me. Damn right. Because it works. Last one to be sweet.
sugar it up. Any sugar, refined sugar, white sugar, raw sugar, organic sugar. That's right. Get it in. In your water, in your juices, in your fruits, on your cereals, on your rice. Yeah, get your fruit in, get your white rice in, and go to bed early. Thanks, Natasha. Thank you.